Hello, I'm Ian Scales, you're watching Telecom TV, and I'm joined today by Raul Garrido, who is the CTO of Marionette, which uh, concerns itself with big data and DevOps, streaming and analytics. So Raul, welcome to Telecom TV. Thank you. Thanks for spending some time with us. Thank you very much. Um, so your business is really about um, streaming data and deriving real-time insights from it. Could you explain that a bit more? Yes, that's correct. So. Uh, we see value on data in motion, uh, that's what we basically do. So streaming data is effectively, data is always in movement, data coming from different devices, could be streaming TV, could be IoT devices, could be phones, could be any kind of data. Also different types of data, images, videos, uh, text files, voice, all. and what we do is effectively analyze first uh, uh, ingest this information and then bring value from these through analytics and try to predict some insights to, to our clients. So presumably what you try and do is find a way to uh, analyze the data and then assist somebody to monetize it. Is that right? Um, both. So we, we effectively in some situations we do uh, indirect monetization, so we gather the information. This information is then sent to a customer client, and then from there they will, they will do further, um, they will create further opportunities to, for example, better customer service or better added value to the, to the, to the data. So that's, that's one case. A second case is actually direct monetizing, so that data is actually used uh, as a, a means of obtaining uh, profit, profit, monetizing the actual data. Okay. So, Give us a few examples of that then, in terms of use cases. Use case, use case. So one of the cases, for example, uh, the case where the automobile industry, where we, where we track, for example, the car, uh, the OBD, the database on the cars, we know, for example, many sensors that car contains, for example, uh, the speed, uh, how the, the driver is driving, uh, what is the current state of the road, um, the weather conditions, all that thing. So, um, with this situation, you can have both cases of direct and indirect. One is the data belongs, for example, belongs to the actual driver, though he could monetize this data by selling the, this information to a provider that then uses that to, to basically realize what's the state of the, the road or the state or the driving and, and, and things like that. The second case is that information go back to, for example, to a a car, a, a vehicle company, and they, they then they could see, okay, how, how my car is adapting to the road in terms of the, the state of the road, and that and that basically helps them to build better cars. Yes. So you've got both cases of direct and indirect. So it's kind of pre-autonomous car um, play uh, as well, sort of. It is, in the sense, helps as well, the pre-autonomous car. Yes, it is. Yes. But it's also about also making sure that the actual driver, uh, in a sense, drives better, yeah. behaves better, behavioral, behavioral analytics, make sure that uh, the way it drives um, uh, is effectively safer, uh, because insurance will say you're driving safer, so we can uh, we can reduce your premium. So you can example, monetize it with insurance. You can monetize it and all that. So. Yeah, yeah, okay, mm. that's great. Mm -hmm. um, what other kind of uses? I mean, you mentioned when we were talking earlier, uh, sports uses. Yeah, for sports, uh, it's very common. Um, it's not common, but it's something we try more and more nowadays. Reason. So, um, frequently, um, people are starting watching a lot more not direct TV or uh, not traditional TV for, for the channels, but more streaming. Uh, and that applies to sports as well. And, uh, and uh, the, the objective is effectively to obtain information in real time and, for example, monetizing adverts campaigns instead of just on the on the on the field of play, for example, using the the t-shirts to visualize that that information ads and stuff like that. So that's another thing we we're, we're trying to achieve. So point. you could actually do what they do on the field, maybe on somebody's shirt. In the shirt, about. exactly. So yeah. and you can basically again. Uh, Something has to is still quite uh, logistics is something quite quite big, of course, because it's all the rights of players, the rights of the clubs, and all that. Uh, but it's something that allows us to do uh, marketing and publicity on a specific play on a specific time, um, uh, and it, and the basic based on that, then it's just to measure uh, what is the people, how many people watching at that point in time, uh, and all, and all those factors. We talked too about. Streaming analytics in mm -hmm. terms of payments. Mm -hmm. Talk about, give us an insight into what you're thinking there 
Yes. So, um, with the advent of IoT, for example, and the fact that many in the future, and not just in the future, but right now, is many, many more payments will be done uh, for IoT devices. But even, but that I suppose is something that's happened in the near future. Not is is not just right there, right now. Uh, but what you can see is more and more people are using cashless. So cashless is becoming. Uh, a common fact, people less and less use money and they use cashless for everything. So that means in the level of transaction, the number of transactions going through uh, nowadays in UK is, is huge, the volume is increasing all the time. So uh, it is important that uh, because it's smaller transaction with a larger volume, that it's the analytics behind in terms of predicting, for example, possible fraud, not just the more traditional uh, fra fraud detection, which is after the fact, we're talking about actually trying to prevent mm. fraud by analyzing uh, what is the, the behavior of certain uh, consumers and detecting, okay, these consumer probably will, that will, will make some fraud in, in, in the near future. So that's what we're trying to assess. And this can be not just from the consumer point of view, but for example, uh, within um, uh, companies itself, how you detect fraud and stuff like that. Okay. So it's prevention instead of Stopping people from jumping rather than putting an ambulance exactly, at the bottom exactly. of the cliff. Okay, well, that's great. Well, look, thank you very much, Raoul. That's very interesting. Thank you. Thank you very thank much. You. Nice to be here. Thank you very much. A pleasure.